Welcome back, Chrissy Crew, and thank you guys for tuning in to another video. If you guys have not yet subscribed to be a part of the Chrissy Crew, hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video, and let's get right into it. All right, guys, so we're on day 15. We're on day 15, so it's been two weeks. I've been working on this kitchen two weeks, but that's not bad. Like, it could have been done, it could have been done quicker, but... You know, I have a life, so I can't do it back to back. So we're on day 15, week two, and we're about to be done, literally. So I'm going to get painting right now, actually. I'm on my lunch break. As you guys know, I love to paint on my lunch break. It's 1.30. Um, so we're going to do... Let me show you guys. So we did the two coats yesterday. So this is double coated already. This has two coats. So this is done. So now today, we're going to do the front. And, and after the front is done, we're literally done. Like, we literally just have to do the top coat. So... After we do the first coat, the second coat I'll do after work because that's going to be more than enough time to do. And then we just needed the protective coat. And I'm pretty sure I can do one coat of the protective coat today. But um, that depends on how late I want to be working. Because yesterday I didn't like finish everything till probably like 1230, a little before 1230. Not only was I painting, but then I ended up cleaning my whole house. I saged. I just wanted like a fresh, a fresh house because it's been a minute since I actually really cleaned everything with between like work and like doing all this stuff like my house has been like kind of messy and i know you guys have been seeing my table in the back ends of stuff it's messy and i just want my house to be clean again so like once i'm done with the kitchen i'll be able to get rid of all the shit on my table all the stuff here throw out everything i don't want and really have a nice clean fort but i like i said i wanted to sage and do that so i didn't go to sleep till late so i'm not trying to go to sleep that late today today i, I mean i probably will but i'm not trying to work that late today um but let me stop rambling because my last video i was like rambling for so long let's get to painting because we're getting this done today so let's paint bye all right guys so we painted the first coat on the top of them and I have to say, these brushes that I've been using, um, the ones that I bought for these, these, they did a really good job, job in the beginning. But now that I've been using them so much for everything, they're very kind of like worn and weird. So they're leaving a lot of streaks on the cabinets. Um, so I'm seeing all of these very streaky, very, very streaky. But I did save, I don't know if it was this one or the other one that I have. I think it's this one. It's a two inch. I'm going to use this or the other one i can't i have to look this one or the other one to do the top coat and i know this is going to leave me a nice smooth finish so when i do the top coat i'm going to definitely do a different brush because i just don't like how the how it's looking with this it's like i said it's very streaky it looks just very like blah um let me see if i can show you so i also missed some spots with it because they the bristles are just so fluffy but if you guys can see it's just streaky and I don't like it. So, I mean, it's it's just the first coat anyway. So that's why like I really don't care that much. Sorry, I gotta wipe my hands. That's why I really don't care that much. But I definitely wanna make sure the top coat is a nice and smooth top coat looking. I also did forget, I'm sorry, I have like paint everywhere. I also did forget to show you guys the draw. Um, so you guys uh, just saw it in the time lapse that I did. But I took the drawer out, I emptied it out. It is a bigger drawer than the other two, so I'm gonna put the lining in there. So I did the two, the two coats on that one. I just did the second coat for that because I did it last night. And then the frame, I already did the second coat as well. So that frame just needs the protectant cover. And now after I get off work or even in my next, my next lunch break, it's at 420. That's more than enough time for me to paint the top coat as well. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paint the second coat on my next break, which I'll come back obviously. And then when I get off work, I'll, pay, I'll paint the protective coat on one of the layers first. So that tomorrow, all I have to do is a protective coat for that. And tomorrow's Wednesday. So tomorrow, I mean, I am working. Um, I don't know if Angel will be here. Um, so it's either going to be me or him painting or both of us, you know, like he does the big wall. He's taller than me. So he does the big wall and I'll start doing the framing. So I think um, we're probably going to start painting tomorrow. I think what I'll do is i always talk like this. i think what i'll start tomorrow is actually like the framework for the windows and stuff and like the bottom because he just has to paint one wall and he probably just has to fix up some corners of some things but he just has to paint the one wall to get this done and i'll show you guys right now 
So just this wall needs to be painted. It needs a double coat because it's all the way down and then it needs to get finished up there. And then um, I'll just touch up the tiles and then I'll show you guys my windows. I will probably do the framework tomorrow for these, for that. And then for the bottom rails. So, um, and I'll probably try to do up there too because I think I can reach on top of there. So I'm gonna be in charge of doing all the frames and he'll be in charge of painting the wall. So I really do think we could start that tomorrow, which is great because the sooner we get this done, the sooner we can start the bathroom. But before I start the bathroom, like, well, I'll probably start the bathroom and just record it for you guys. I'll figure it out on the back end. But I definitely do want to do some DIY videos because like I said, I want to make some cute kind of centerpiece for this. Unless you guys like how this looks with the cute little setup with the cups. Like, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if I should make what i want to make or leave as is but there's this cute thing that i've seen on pinterest and it's like a big glass jar i don't have to do it as big but it was a glass jar or some kind of jar and it had like a buddha in it like some fake looking grass like little pebbles so i want to kind of make something like that very like zen um so that's kind of what i'm thinking thinking for here so let me know if you guys like that idea or this but i want to do a diy video on that i think i also want to do like a decorate with me with the stuff that i'm getting i'm going to finish my all my to-do list today is my finalizing my kitchen decor like what else i want to get because i'm not trying to get too much but i just want some accents on the wall and stuff just to uplift it just update some of these things i need new cutting boards and stuff so um i want to finalize that list today so I think I might do like a once this be this series is done before like I give the final result. I think I want to do like a decorate with me and then we do like a final thing. Let me guys let me know what you guys think. Should I just do like the DIY separate from these videos or should I do like after I finish do a decorate with me video and then do the final thing? Like what do you guys want to see? I want to know what you guys think. So leave in the comments below which way should I go? Should I go all in one? which is decorate with me in that or just the final result and do it on my own um and like do a diy video video and stuff like that so let me know what you guys think i might still do that too just so that i can have like a bunch of different videos for you guys to see um but yeah so let me stop rambling again i'm like a ramble diva today um i'm done now we're gonna go we had lunch we had my castle so we're probably gonna walk the dog and um Maybe go to the supermarket get some things because I want to make fajitas today. I love fajitas. Is it Tuesday? Oh, Taco Tuesday. So I probably will make fajitas. Um, and yeah, and then later on I'll come back and do the rest. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. <laughs> Double coated now, so everything is done. It's done. But as you guys know, we gotta do the protective coat. So that's gonna need about an hour or so to dry. I actually, I'm gonna start cooking now. I'm gonna move everything. Well, I'm not gonna move everything back. I'm kind of gonna move everything back because I gotta wash the shoes, but <clears throat> um, these could dry for about an hour or two. Oh no, a two hours, definitely two hours. Um, so by the time I'm done cooking, cleaning up, I can actually do the protective coat. <clears throat> so we're definitely gonna do the protective coat today on the doors, the backs of the doors. And then tomorrow we will work on the protective coat for the front of the doors but like i mentioned in my last video if you guys have not checked that out please make sure you do i'll hit the i'll put the bell somewhere around here or throughout the video somewhere um but i'm not going to paint the frame yet with the protective coat because when we paint if we get paint on the cabinet i want to be able to paint over it and not be worried because i have a protective coat on it so i'm going to do the doors with everything set so that all i have to do is the frame once we're done painting and i actually switched my day so tomorrow <clears throat> Oh, are we going to start painting tomorrow? We're probably going to start painting tomorrow. Yeah, we're probably going to start painting tomorrow, actually. So that's going to be exciting. We can do that early, get that out the way so that I can pretty much finish everything. Yay! All right, so I showed you guys that. Um, let me show you the big ones, how they look. I just don't want to, like, touch them because my this whole time I've been trying not to get them on my table. And I just noticed I got some on the table, but... Honestly, they look really good. You guys can see here, they look really good. Everything just turned out really nicely, but I just realized, look at that. So I'm happy that I was going through it because I wouldn't have noticed that. So I'm gonna paint it with you guys. So I got a little bit on my brush and guys, I told you, I didn't even finish the, can you see? I didn't even finish the can. There's still some in the can and I'm done. Like literally, I can't even believe it. So like what I'm debating right now is if I should um, change the price on my on my thing because technically, although I paid, oh my God, do you see me? 
I'm trying to zig in my face. With this, I'm just doing little shows. And I also want to mention, this application with this paintbrush, like I told you guys, I knew it would. It was so smooth and perfect. Like, it made this, like, everything. Just, it went on great. No streaks at all. Like, I'm just, I'm very happy that I saved that to do this. Because, let's see if anything else is messed up. Ugh, because it just really gave the top coat a really nice finish. So, <clears throat> now we're done. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I want to talk about that. So, I'm, I'm happy I used that brush. It looks really nice. Painted that, fixed that really quick. I'm gonna have to try to get that brown off my table, but <clears throat> all right, guys. So I'm gonna start cooking now, and then I'll see you guys in a little while. To what am I doing actually? Oh yeah, to finish the top coat. I'm just gonna finish the top coat with you guys. I was talking about this. Look, I still have probably about a quarter left. So this is great. I honestly could probably use this for my bathroom. Like I only have two doors, and you guys will see my bathroom, but I have just a bottom cabinet and a mirror on top, and this might this just might actually cover it all okay so when i get to cooking i said it a thousand times i'm gonna get to cooking and i'll see you guys in a little while when i start the protective coat bye what's up you guys good morning today is day 16 yesterday i actually didn't end up doing the protective coat because i was just tired you guys like this is tiring so i can't i mean i know i'm gonna do stuff but like sometimes i just can't i was tired your girl's friend is here so like i didn't want to overwork myself so we're gonna get to it today i actually had an early well i didn't i wanted to have an early morning today but i didn't so i'm in between washing clothes you guys see this here this is oh, amazing it's gonna dry so nice i'm in between washing clothes so as i'm in between i said let me paint the coats and stuff so that we can get this show on the road. Not that I'm rushing it, you know, I'm not rushing it, but like I'm ready to finish because I wanna do things today. It's already 78 degrees and it's only 11 o'clock. So I wanna be outside today, enjoy the hot weather, even though like I hate sweating, I hate feeling sick and nasty, but sometimes you gotta do it to have a nice day. So um, I'm gonna get started on, I'm gonna make some bacon actually, and I'm gonna get started on the protective coat. What I'm actually gonna use is the, this one that I don't like for the back because I want to use the nice one that I do like for the front and if I use that one now it I'll have to wash it and then it won't be ready for me to use later for the other one because once you have it sitting there for an hour or two as you guys know things harden so it gets hard on the brushes and stuff so like I have to mediate between the brushes that I use so that I have something available so I'm going to use these for the back since I really don't care about the back you're not going to see the back and then I'm going to use the nice one for the front so we're going to get to that um let me see what else i have planned for today i'm gonna get started so all right rewind i'm gonna paint the whatever right the back i'm gonna leave go put my clothes in the dryer when i come back i'm going to start the framing painting the framing while those are drying because i want to just get this wool i don't know this wall in front of me i just want to get over with because i want to hang up my stuff so um i want to get this wall done and then I think I can reach on the top there with the ladder. You guys see the ladder there? I think I could reach on top there to do that frame as well. So I'm gonna try that. And then this wall, Angel still has to do. So I'm not gonna do that yet. But I think what I wanna do is probably paint the door, um, the bathroom door while I have the white out. I can do that because I'm gonna paint the front of the bathroom door. I'm gonna paint the whole door again. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then what else do I have to do? I definitely can't reach up there, so that's gonna be something Angel can do. So I'm gonna do what I can paint wise while I wait for that to dry and everything. I'll, in between, I'll have to go get my clothes because I have to put on whatever, you know, you know the drill washing clothes. So in between that, but I'm gonna get this done like now. Oh, and I'll probably paint the radiator too. So I'm gonna have to move all my shit off the radiator so that I could paint it. I'm not painting the full radiator though. I'm just gonna paint what portion you can see here because like to paint the whole thing is like pointless because you're not gonna see back there. So I just wanna paint what you can see. And I don't have people over my house anyway. So it's not like they're gonna come on the side and be like, oh, you didn't finish painting your radiator. Like, no, I don't care. I'm gonna paint what you can see. It is what it is. And yeah, so that's my agenda for today. And then my other agenda, like for outside, me and Angel love going to Central Park. So maybe I'll vlog this. Like if we do end up going, me and Angel love going to Central Park. So I think that I want to go to Central Park today. Um, we went last week like twice. And 
the other day we saw like this video on youtube of like hidden gems in central park and i found this like he mentioned a really cute place in like 70 something street i don't want to tell you guys what it is just in case i vlog it so you guys can see but central if you haven't been to central park go to central park there's so much shit to do so much shit to see but i want to go to this spot that it's um really cute well i'll just tell you guys anyway it's a fishing spot like you can't keep the fish but they give you a fishing rod for free they give you like a bucket of corn and you you can't like throw the line but you just you know put the line in the water and some fishies grab it sometimes turtles and stuff so i want to try to do that but again it's really hot and me and angel don't like the heat like that so we'll see how it is i, I think they close at six so we would have to go before them and it's already 11 11 so make a wish guys 11 11 thank you god i love you um and yeah so let's get started i love to ramble you guys know i like to just explain things overly and multiple times in one sentence um but yeah let's get started <laughs> Alright, so how's my hair? Do you guys love my hair? Check out my Instagram. Well, this is not gonna be up in that time, but I used a new product, Mish Beauty. Love it. Anyway, um, so we painted the back. Let me show you guys. We painted the backs nice and shiny, now protected, all good to go. I was gonna paint the fronts now, but then I was like, I should just wait to paint the front when I do the frame so that you know they can all just dry together and I can put them all up. But, so that's why I'm not doing the um, the fronts right now. And then I was about to start painting and then I realized I don't even have a paintbrush. Like I was looking through, I thought I had like another new paintbrush and I don't. And I threw out the ones, well, one of the ones that I was using because I was like, I'm not gonna use that anymore, so I'm gonna throw it out. So I'm gonna have to go get a paintbrush today just so I can do the frames and stuff as I've been saying. So what I think I'm gonna do is, um, just line the wall with the blue tape so that when i'm ready to paint later on tonight i could um just start painting it so that's what i'm gonna do we have like i said we have to go get a paintbrush so i really can't do anything right now until we go get one so i'm just cooking lunch i'm making chicken and mushrooms and teriyaki sauce with some white rice and i made fresh teriyaki so this is a fresh recipe and um yeah so i'm just gonna make some lunch and we'll head out later so right now it's just gonna be a little hiatus so it's two o'clock well about to be two o'clock 78 degrees so it hasn't really risen in temperature but it's hot it's hot as shit outside i went outside a couple times because i went to do laundry but um yeah so enjoy your day guys i'll see you later on when i come back home so that i can finish up this damn painting okay bye What's up, you guys? <coughs> What's up, you guys? <coughs> I'm dying. Let me see. What's up, you guys? Today is day 16. Wait. I don't even know. I think 17. Today's either 16 or 17. I'm not sure where we're at today. What number we're on. But it's either 16 or 17. And I don't know where I left off in my last video. But we didn't get painting. So actually, right now, I'm going to start... <laughs> Lining up the walls with the blue paint so we can get started. So I'm, I'm going to make this super quick and easy, this this intro thing. Um, this is not an intro, but this is the start of whatever day this is, 16 or 17. I think it's 17, though. But yeah, we're just going to get we're gonna get started. I got off work, made some lunch. Now I'm full and I'm ready to get to work. <laughs> about the borders um i painted one border and it's really white and it looks nice like it looks nice and bright but i don't think i want that around the windows like i think it'll be too much around the windows so i'm not gonna do the windows and i'm gonna show you guys right now well you guys saw it in the the thing that i just posted but i'm gonna show you guys now i don't really think 
I like how it would look all around the frames, you know? I think I should just leave it like this and then just do the borders up there. So for now, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, we just finished painting, well, I just finished painting this wall. Angel helped me with the top and got the top done. Um, I just have to do a second coat on like the top right here. You see, it's still like light. I just have to do a second coat for that. And then in a little while, I should be able to do the border. I could do the border for that right now, actually. I just gotta be careful. So I'm gonna do the border for this wall. And then I can probably start the border for the bathroom also because I'll be, I'll be careful. I don't feel like waiting. And I just don't have a roller for the bathroom door. That's the only thing. So I'm gonna search and see if I have anything. But I don't think so. So the bathroom door is going to have to wait. But I'm just going to do the borders actually around the, the regular doors. But I'm not doing the window. I don't want to do the window. We done. Well, I did the borders. You guys see. I did the borders. I'll show you guys. I did the, the, the door here. <laughs> so um, in the time lapse, I don't know if you guys will notice, but I painted this with a paintbrush. I was not going to wait to get a roller. I did the paintbrush because I want this done. Let me move over here. Lighting's better. So we painted the door. The door is all good. I painted the frame around the bathroom door. Painted the frame around the house door. And then we just did the bottoms of the walls. Angel has to do the top frames. Um, so he'll probably do that another day. And then we're done painting. Like I'm officially done painting. We're not painting anymore but those frames. Like I said, I decided not to do the windows. So we're not doing that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up this mess, put everything back um, so that this could dry. And then, I'm oh, I did get some paint on the cabinet. So I'm going to go ahead and paint over that. I just got a line. So I'm just going to paint over that. I'm going to do uh, the protective coats. After I clean everything up, I'll do the protective coats on everything else. So let that sit. And then tonight, after dinner and everything, we can put those cabinets up. And then that's it. Um, it's not it. We're not done with the kitchen. We still got to do the handles. And I'm going to change some of these outlets. So we still got to do that. But that's that's it for painting and stuff, so that's exciting. Um, so that's my little update and bye. you guys see so this is what the drawer looks like i had to add like an extra piece here because i measured it but it didn't cut the way that i wanted to but it's okay so that's the inside of the drawer which is cute and then i was like you know what i want to change the outlets now um i didn't want to wait till i decorate i was like you know what let me just do it now and thankfully i did that because when I took two of the out well, when I took one of the outlets off, I took two off and I took one on this side here actually, but I don't have an extra outlet. I was actually gonna put this back on it, but this is small for the outlet. So like it has an outline from the previous cover. So what I <laughs> let me show you what I did. I had this one which I took off of where the air conditioner was and it had paint on it already. So I was like, you know what? Let me just paint the whole thing. So I painted the whole thing and we're going to put this one back on there because that's the same size. So it'll just flush with the wall, which is fine. The one over here, let me show you guys. The one over here actually peeled. So I don't know if you can see up here, but when I pulled it out, the whole thing like peeled right here. So I kind of shaved off the parts that like you see right here. I shaved it off like with a, a knife and I painted over with the paintbrush that I had. So... That's why I said thankfully I did that because since I still have paint here in the paintbrush, I was able to paint it to get it so you don't see any lines. This one over here, um, this one, that one had no trouble. That one was fine. I just painted around it really quick just to clean it up. And then like I said, this one over here, um, I didn't have a new cover for it. So I'm using that one. And then the other new cover I had was I put towards the air conditioner. So I'll show you guys here. You walk with me. I put towards here. And it looks really nice. It didn't peel or anything. So that's good. So my table is like finally clean. Like literally clean. Um, so what I'm going to do is now put this away. Um, I'm probably going to put the drawer in just for now. Just so it can get out my way. 
but I'm gonna actually start painting the I'm gonna actually start painting the the other coats now so that they can dry and then after I paint that I'll start cooking and then I get to hang it up so I just wanted to get my table cleaned off get this drawer I had this drawer inside that drawer so I cleaned it out um, and here's just miscellaneous things some uno cards some playing cards wine stopper me uh, me and angel bought these last year when we went upstate these are the fire changing things for the fire pit so we have those in there some measuring tapes some monopoly money so just a miscellaneous drawer I really i don't put anything over there because that drawer is so far away i really don't use that side only for my seasonings and stuff so i don't want to put stuff that i need in there then i'll have to like walk back and forth in there so this is what this is <laughs> the top coats of the cabinet i did want to show you oh, say hi to him i did want to show you i have a big stick so i'm sorry that this is so this you see the bottom here this happened when i did the back of the what you call it the back protectant so i think if you see here i think you see this is too much here i mean i shouldn't do it with that but that's because there was too much protectant on it. And this probably got stuck to the bag that it was laying on. What I'll do is we're going to end this video here. This is a three-day video. So this is, I mean, it wasn't a lot, but today was a lot. I did a lot today. I did a lot today. So we're going to end this video here. Next video will probably be just like a finishing up or let me know what you guys want me to do. Do you guys want me to do a decorate with me, then show the final or should I do the DIY stuff first and then show the final? Oh, um, no, you know what? I won't do that. I think I'm not going to do the DIY stuff first. What? Tell me what you guys think I should do. Do you guys want to do a decorate with me video and then show the, the final? Or should I just decorate on my own after basically make the next video the final video because by well, the final video for the kitchen? Because by the time, not by the time, but this week, I'm going to put the handles up and then this weekend we'll paint the top so it'll be done so let me guys let me let let me know what you guys think what you guys want me to do put if you want option one where you do where we do the decorate with me it's not really decorating i just have a couple things to put up but the decorate with me then show the finale or should we just do a finale video and i decorate everything and then just show you the final video so if you want option one and you made it this far please leave a hundred sign in the comments if you want option two and you made it this far leave a hamza hand if you guys have that or praying hand let's do a praying hand for an option two option one is a hundred option two is the praying hand and if you made it this far in the video just leave me a heart comment if you don't want to pick just leave a heart comment and let me know that you watched it all the way to the end um so yeah like i said i'm gonna leave it here thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have not yet subscribed to be a part of the Chrissy crew hit that subscribe button down below give this video a big thumbs up share this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye